Today, we're going over a clinical study for women over the age of 40. There was 22 of them testing castor oil and the benefits on the skin from a medical grade tool and from a dermatologist perspective. There's also a second study that shows organic virgin coconut oil improves skin hydration by 148% within four weeks. And I'll show you later in this video exactly how I use both oils for my dry skin so that way your skin can look and feel its best, especially this fall and winter. We instructed the patients to apply topical castor oil cream twice daily for two months. The darkness, melanin, and urethma levels were evaluated by the Viso Face 1000D and Color Match Catch devices. We used a visual analog scale to assess skin lex laxity, wrinkles, and patient satisfaction. According to the dermatologist's assessment, skin laxity and wrinkles in the specified area significantly improved after using the castor oil cream. Castor oil is a promising option for treating certain dermatology conditions. Some studies have confirmed that its efficacy in treating dry skin, while others revealed that topical castor oil could be effective in skin tissue regeneration and re-epithelization. Castor oil contains certain chemical compositions that could benefit skincare, offering skin protection, clearing, wound healing, and moisturizing properties. Constituents like these oils and compounds, linolic, rinsinolic, palmitic, steric, and oleic acid give castor oil anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antibacterial features. The GCFID analysis conducted in our study revealed that the linoleic acid, acid, acid and the oleic acid were the predominantly fatty acid compositions in the castor oil that we used. This result was in line with the results of previous studies. The clinical findings of our study could be related to the bioactivity effects of these fatty acids, particularly linoleic acid of castor oil, as evidenced by previous research. In this study, the patients reported no side effects. The NIH shared virgin coconut oil asserts its anti-inflammatory activity through suppressing inflammatory markers and protects the skin by strengthening the skin barrier function. Another study showed 100% improvement in skin moisture content of mice after two weeks of using virgin coconut oil and 148% after four weeks, the rate of water loss through the epidermis improved by 27%, two weeks and 36% after four weeks of applying virgin coconut oil. Evidence suggests that virgin coconut oil has the ability to promote wound healing through the promotion of epithelial regeneration and collagen synthesis. I personally have been using virgin coconut oil on my skin, my face included, for the last 12 years. Um, every single day, I swear by it, it has helped my skin tremendously with dry skin, especially in the fall and the winter months. But especially in the last 30 days or so, I've been adding castor oil into my daily skincare routine just for the extra benefits that we just learned about. And it has made such a big difference in my skin already. What I do is I use a pea-sized amount of this cream here. I developed it for dry skin and it's safe to use it on the face. You just want to get a little dab. You can, like I said, you can use it on your face. So right now I'm just going to show you on my hands. This is the castor oil that I use. It's not sponsored. I just, I bought it with my own money and I absolutely love it. It's 100% pure castor oil. Uh, it's 100% Jamaican black castor oil and you only need a couple little drops. It is very thick. Um, so I like adding it with the cream, which has organic virgin coconut oil in it and mango butter. It is amazing for dry skin. And then you just simply massage it together on your hands and then rub it in until it fully absorbs. Do the exact same thing for your face. You can use it under the eyes. The uh, study that talked about the castor oil, they're actually talking about specifically under the eyes for dark circles um, in the picture that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Um, so if they can do that for under the eyes where the skin is the most thin, imagine what it's gonna do for the rest of you, like your neck, your chest, um, your hands, the forearms, when it, uh, skin tends to thin up a bit more as we get older, um, it just really helps improve the look and feel and the texture of the skin. It helps protect the skin from the dry winter um, elements from heaters, blasting cold, uh, hot air on our skin, and going outside and being exposed to those elements. It just helps your skin barrier to um, be more protected and hydrated and nourished and look and feel its best as we get older. If you found this research-backed content to be helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.